you're not almost there. Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to give you a three-phase bench building program, something you can do over the course of the next 12 months to help you get your bench press moving. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas I turn into videos just like this. All right, if you need coaching, check out the link down below. I'm not a check-in once a week guy. Check in every single day or nearly every single day, six days a week. All right, so I'm going to give you a three-phase bench building program. No matter where you're at, you, know, you can use these strategies over the course of the next year to build up your bench press, about a year, right? We're going to look at three to four month phases or three to four uh, month blocks for each phase. So I'm going to give you three phases. They're going to be about three to four months each. Consider the first week or two of each phase kind of a break-in period where you're getting used to the phase. Do this with a slight calorie surplus, a slight, a slight bulk. Um, take a break between phases if you need to do a short mini cut. But these three strategies are going to help you, the average lifter, bring up your bench press. So we have three phases, and what are they? They're going to be phase one is maximize. The phase one strategy is to get you on track with progression, get you on track with attack, and get you to maximize sets, and we'll get that bench press moving. Phase number two is stimulate. We're going to work on stimulating the central nervous system, training the central nervous system a little bit. This is going to be more of an odd phase. It's going to be something you've never tried before. It's not going to be radical. It's not going to be punishing, but it's going to be a little bit different. This phase really pays off for a lot of my clients. And phase three is going to be periodization, where we're going to start to introduce some concurrent periodization which I don't like to talk about science a lot on this channel because there's so much bad science, but scientifically concurrent periodization looks pretty reasonable. So we're going to finish out phase three with concurrent periodization. So we're going to have maximize phase one, stimulate phase two, and periodize phase three. All right, phase one, maximize. We're going to do something called and it doesn't matter whether you're doing a body part split or a full body or whatever you're doing, it doesn't matter. We're going to do bench press threes. We're going to get you on track and we're going to have you maximize your bench press sets. I'm not going to get into assistance exercises, how to work your triceps or shoulders, just straight benching in this video. So bench press threes, okay? You're going to have three sets and you're going to push each of them for maximum safe quality reps. You're going to push them. You're not going to push out. You're not going to wimp out. On a bench press set, when your speed starts to slow, that means the next rep is likely to fail. So when you feel that speed slowing, that's basically where you want to stop these sets. So three sets, you're going to start set one of workout one with something you can do about seven to eight reps with, okay? You're going to go into the gym. That's your first workout, something you know about seven to eight reps, okay? Your second set, you're going to drop the weight by 10% and do maximum safe quality reps. And your third set, you're going to drop the weight by another 10% and you're going to do maximum safe quality reps. So we're going to do our warm-up sets. We're going to have the big heavy set. We're going to back down 10%, do max reps, back down 10%, do another max uh, set of max reps. When you do these back down sets like this, when you back down, the weight's going to feel a little bit lighter and it's going to be kind of a mental break, but you're still really going to be pushing and you'll get in some quality volume. And all three of these sets are pushed to the limit, which is going to be great for hypertrophy and long-term strength building. So on the first set, when you hit seven plus reps, the next week you add five pounds, no exceptions, no excuses. And then you adjust your back offsets from there and do the 10% drop. So let me explain. Let's say you are at 185 pounds and you, you do seven reps your first workout. You're going to back down about 10%. So we're going to do 185 and then we'll do 170 and 155. A little bit shy of the 10%, but close enough. So we're 185, 170, and 155. You do seven, you do nine, you do 10 reps. Those are your sets. Because you hit seven plus uh, reps on that first set, the next workout, you're going to add five pounds. So you'll move up to 190. So next week, 
190, 170, 150, 190, uh, 175, 160, doesn't matter. It's that first set that is a progression indicator and all three sets are pushed for maximum safe reps. You're gonna do this protocol for about three or four months and then decide whether you wanna take a two week break, take a mini cut, whatever you wanna do and move on to phase two, which is stimulate. This is going to seem like a weird protocol, but we're really gonna work on stimulating your central nervous system here. And um, this more than any protocol I give to my clients is like a new adventure. It just really, you see consistent progress because we're really working on training the central nervous system here. We're putting in some unique fun challenges, a different way to train the bench and it works really well. So you're going to have two bench sessions either every week or you can do these every other week, whatever you prefer. Session one is going to be a three, four, five, six, seven. You're going to have five working sets. Sounds like a lot, but you're going to use the same weight for all five of those sets, okay? So you want to start with something you can do about your first workout about 10 reps with, okay? Something you know you can do about 10 reps with. This is your heavier day. You're going to have a lighter day in just a second, so hold on. I said two working bench days using this uh, stimulate period. Okay, so five sets using something you can do about 10 reps on. You're going to do working sets, three reps with that weight, four reps with that weight, five reps with that weight, six reps with that weight, and then the final set, maximum reps with that weight. If you hit seven or more on that final set, so we have three, four, five, six, and then if you hit seven or more on that final set, you add five pounds the next time you do the heavier protocol. What you'll find is after you do the three rep set and then the four rep set, the five rep set and the six rep set are going to start to feel a little bit lighter. We're really working that central nervous system and things are actually going to start to feel lighter or should start to feel lighter as you progress into this protocol. Now we're going to have a lighter day. Again, this can be a second bench day that week or you can alternate between these every other week. We're going to do what's called a 5, 10, 10, 20. You're going to start your first workout with something you can do about at least 20 reps with. Going to sound extreme, but trust me here. This is this is kind of a protocol where you see people just consistently pro, uh, uh, you know, moving forward, progressing. So get excited about this. Give it a try. Don't, don't dismiss it. Pick a weight you can do about 20 reps with, okay? You're going to do four working sets here. Five reps with that weight then 10 reps, then 10 reps with that weight, and then the last set, you're going to do maximum up to 20. If you hit 20 reps on that last set, then you add five pounds the next time. So we're kind of we're kind of combining kind of a form of concurrent periodization, but some really quality central nervous system stimulation or training. You will see your bench press move up during this three to four week phase. All right, finally, we're going to dive into something a little bit heavier uh, or a little bit more focused, and it's going to be a periodization. We're going to do concurrent periodization. We're going to do two types of training. We're going to have a heavier week, and we're going to have a little bit lighter week, but still a super challenging week as far as volume. I would suggest starting with threes and starting with sixes, okay? So you have uh, you can do both of these during the same week if you want, or you can alternate them every other week. You're gonna do four or five sets of three reps during the first bench session, and four to five sets of six reps during the second. Now here's how it's going to work. Start the threes with something you can do about eight reps with. And you're gonna do three, let's just say five sets. You can do four or five. You're gonna do three, 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 and three, the first workout as a test, okay? The second time you hit the gym, you're gonna to try to do four on that first set, okay? And after that, you're gonna to try to do four on that. You're gonna to continue to try to do fours. But if things fail, you just finish out with threes, right? So you might do four, four, three, 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 three. If you drop, if let's say you do four, four, three, three, and then two, 
if you drop below, then you try to bring that three or that two up to a three. Does that make sense? So you're trying to build, you're trying to front load fours, four, four. You want to get to four, 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 four from three, 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 right? That's what you're trying to do. But at any point, if any of these sets drop to a two, the next workout, you want to you want to hold tight on your fours and get those up to a three. So let's say you did four, four, three, three, two reps, right? Next time you just stick with the four, four, and then you try to bring it up to three, three, three. Okay. Once you get it up to three, 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 then we'll try to get more fours. Does that make sense? You can do that with four sets as well. Now on the the more volume week uh, or day, we're going to do six, 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 and we're going to try to get that to seven, 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 seven. When you move the three, 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 three to all fours, you move up five pounds on that day. When you get all of your sixes to all sevens on the other day, you move up five pounds using the same strategy I just detailed. So I hope this makes sense. If you guys have any questions, you can hit me up on Instagram at Ben the Bar, slide into my DM, or hit me up, uh, drop a comment down below, or just join Team Massive. This will give you three phases or 12 months of training. You, you're going to have uh, phase one, maximize. We're going to maximize sets. We're going to get you up to speed and get you moving and get that bench moving. Phase two is going to be stimulate. We're going to work on stimulating that central nervous system. You're going to see continued progress during this phase. And phase three is going to be period, periodization. You're going to use a quality form of concurrent periodization, and you should see your bench moving up. It might be a little bit of a grind during this period of time, but that's okay. We're trying to get as much out of our bench in 12 months. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.